Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I said I was going to make a YouTube channel in 2022 to talk about hockey and here we are. I have, I have made it. Thanks for joining me. I'm used to making short Twitter videos. Um, I'll pop my Twitter up here and my other socials if you want to follow. Uh, usually they're just short little videos whereas now we have all the time in the world. This is great. So. Today I'm just going to be kind of doing like a little intro and talking a little bit about being a hockey fan in Scotland because it seems to be a pretty niche market I'm finding out and people are surprised that we even have the sport over here so we're going to talk about that. Thank you for joining me on here just make sure to like, subscribe, all those things and let's get started. So I got into ice hockey when I was 16, which I know is quite late, but here there's not a huge hockey culture at all. Hockey is not a popular sport and it's one of those things that a lot of people just aren't even aware of. And there's many reasons for that, but we're not here to talk about them today. <laughs> so I first went to a Dundee Stars game in 2016 and I went with no knowledge of the game whatsoever. I had no clue. It was just someone offered to take me for free and I was like, you know what, I want to try something new. Let's go for it. I didn't have a clue about the game. I was kind of googling the rules beforehand to try and work out what on earth I was about to watch. And the game started and at first I was like, what on earth is this? It was so fast that I couldn't keep up with it. And I'm used to like football, which is a much slower paced sport. So trying to follow the puck, I was just thinking, how do people do this? After, you know, I think five minutes, I was obsessed. I was just like, this is the best sport I have ever witnessed. It is so fast and exciting and intense and it's like a little bit rough, but it's full of skill and I, I just love this. Um, and I actually, I saved a Snapchat that night it's pretty funny to look back on but that was me hooked and I, I very rarely missed a Stars home game since. I've had a season ticket for years now. I love my local team. Um, but then that wasn't enough for me. I decided one day, you know what, I'm going to have a look at like the NHL. Like I love EIHL hockey but like the NHL sounds pretty cool. I'm going to, I'm going to go and give that a watch. And one night I just opened it. And I, I can't tell you why I picked the Leafs, this is the worst thing. I always get asked, how did you become a Leafs fan all the way over there? And honestly, the reason is just, it felt like they picked me. I have no idea. I always loved Toronto as a city before I started watching hockey. It was always somewhere I wanted to visit. So I don't know if that maybe made me a little bit more drawn to it, but I just, straight away, there was no other team. I've never supported any other hockey team, any other NHL team. I just saw the Leafs and was like, that's it, they're my team. And I've stuck to them ever since. And years later, I'm here, up, all night, watching the games, losing sleep, losing money. But it's great, it's worth it. <laughs> that's just kind of how I got into hockey and the Leafs in particular. And, you know, crazy to think that if I hadn't gone to that one singular game nearly five, or oh, five years ago this year, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here right now. And you know, I've got like the best people on Twitter in the world. Like, hockey Twitter is one of the nicest places ever. I, I love it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here if I hadn't just decided to go along to that game that night. And I hadn't planned on going. I, I Honestly, I think it was an hour before puck drop. You know, like someone was like, would oh, you want to come? And I was like, sure, like I'll give it a shot. But the Leafs are now like a huge part of my, my life and talking about hockey online and all that stuff is a huge, huge part of what I do, which is kind of crazy to think that if I hadn't said yes to that plan spontaneously, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be sitting here right now. So, you know, hockey hockey's impactful and I know right now there's obviously been a lack of hockey recently just because of the whole pandemic thing. And like it, it sucks and don't get me wrong, like hockey, I know a lot of people will not see it as essential but anyone who's got a sports team that they follow, it's it's almost like an escape and it's, it is a proper hobby and I think it's nice to be gradually having hockey back again. Being a hockey fan in Scotland <laughs> is, is a tricky thing because everybody here likes football, rugby, 
maybe like cricket, golf, stuff like that. But like ice hockey, it's a, it's a niche thing and it's, the fan bases are small here, but even though they're small, they are hardcore. You know, some of like the most diehard fans of a team I've ever met are British hockey fans. So even though the, the groups, the fan bases might be smaller, they, they're, they're mighty people, like we are all mighty people over here. Um, it's tricky being a hockey fan over here, the sport isn't very well grown, there's a lot that could be improved with it, um, so it means that it's quite expensive to follow and there's not very many teams in the UK, especially not of a pro level. Ice time's hard to get by, it's expensive so people don't put their kids into it, so there's a lack of kind of good Brits coming through the ranks, even though it's a shame because some of them are amazing when they do get the opportunity. But it, it's tricky, and it's even trickier when you decide that you're going to follow an NHL team properly and you're going to be up all night watching. Like, I, I'm filming this right now. I was up until 3, 4 because there was a Leafs game last night. But it's, it's so worth it. I, I, I'm not even complaining. And it's a good choice. But it's also a lot of sleep deprivation <laughs> and a lot of money. Yeah, this is just a little short intro video about what it's like being a hockey fan in Scotland. And, you know, I have so many ideas of what I want to post on here. I want to do some kind of hockey history related videos because I am a history student. That is actually what I do in my life. Um, so I would love to bring my skills in from that and my love of hockey together and talk about some hockey history, Leafs history. But I would also like to focus on individual players. I want to talk about topics that are a bit more controversial. Um, I would analyse games. Just anything related to hockey or, you know, maybe some other parts of my life too. I'm just going to start filming and posting on here because I love making nice things for the internet. And I... And it's such a great place and if it's used in the right way, social media is such a powerful tool and I think it's just important to try and use it in the best way that you possibly can and this is this is kind of my way of using it because, you know, if, if you like talking about hockey, this is a good platform to do it on but I have so many ideas of what I'd like to do on this channel and, you know, this is, this is my first shot at filming a YouTube video so you know, I'm, I'm like diving in the deep end here but I said that this year I was going to do it and we're still only at the start of January and I've stuck to it, so that's good. Any likes, subscribers, anything like that would be much appreciated. My socials are down below and if you're into hockey, my Twitter is the main one to go because I talk a lot about hockey on there. And, you know, give me any ideas of what you would like to see on here because I'm willing to give pretty much anything a go. So, any hockey content that you'd like to see, just drop a comment and I'll do my best to cover it and thank you for watching this I, I'm very grateful to be here and grateful that people actually subscribe people over 150 people had subscribed to this before I even uploaded anything which is just insane like it's absolutely crazy that people really like my content that much already which is I'm just very grateful for because I love doing it and it's become a real passion of mine so I appreciate anybody who watches my videos, takes the time out of their, their busy schedules to watch a random Scottish girl talk about hockey, which is definitely niche. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so let's get started I guess. <laughs> Bye!